We chose the top four anchor winches available in the country for this exercise. These have all got about a 240 to 250 millimetre spool or drum diameter and all of these winches take the same size rope, the same diameter, the same length and are all recommended to have the same amount of rope and chain. All of the manufacturers manufacture a winch very similar in size and shape. It just so happens that each and every one of these winches is the second smallest winch in every manufacturer's range. Keeps it consistent. So we lifted a 50 kilogram mass up five metres and then back down again repeatedly. So essentially it's a fatigue test and we're looking for either a circuit breaker to trip or the motor will stall.
So after performing the testing, we found that the SAV winch achieved two full cycles before the unit no longer operated. The circuit breaker was also tripped during the testing of the stress-free. That was after 29 and a half cycles. We tested the Viper as well, and that achieved 42 cycles, and then the circuit breaker was tripped. We tested 100 cycles of the Lone Star GX2, uh, and then we aborted the testing with no failure observed.